What up, fight fans? It's your main man, made man, back at it again, and y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing now. And, you know, it's been a few videos since I visited the Mayweather Pacquiao mega fight that's up and coming on May 2nd. So I thought I'd just go ahead and drop a quick video on this fight. Uh, the thing is, is that, you know, I was wondering, as I'm looking at how everything is playing out with this fight so far, I'm wondering to myself, man, like... Yo, is the promoters feeling a little overconfident about this fight? I mean, I, of course, I get it, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is going to go through the roof. It's still going to be the, you know, alleged biggest financial fight in history. Uh, this is going to be big. I'm not denying that one bit. It's going to make a lot of noise. We all know the world is going to stop on May 2nd. But the fact still remains that nothing is guaranteed. You know what I mean? I'm looking how, how they're doing this fight so far, and it's been, uh, it's not been the greatest, you know. I mean... It's been piss poor in promotions. You know, we didn't see any kind of lot of press conference. They had that one press conference, but not a multi-city or more multi-country press conference tour. You know, we didn't see any of that nature. Uh, we're not seeing a bunch of trash talking this fight. So the buildup or the hype for this fight has been kind of pretty much put to a minimum. I guess the name of the fight alone, just they, they're expecting to sell itself. But, uh, the, you know, we don't see the typical Floyd Mayweather mouth and off trying to build up hype for this fight. Uh, we just do not see that. Um, the undercard so far that's being put together is thus far three of the fights so far, have, it looks like, have been announced and not a uh, record-breaking under, uh, record breaking undercard. Uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Santa Cruz is not on this particular undercard, thank God. But, I mean, just nobody of, you know... No matchups that we're all clamoring for, I tell you that. No, we won't see no Brooke Khan. No, we won't see no Wilder, uh, you know, we won't see no uh, Wilder Klitschko. Nothing of that level, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, however, the fights that have been announced thus far, we're talking, what, Chris Pearson, who is a Mayweather Promotions fighter. Chris Pearson, who is 11-0 with nine knockouts. He will be fighting Saeed El Harak, 12-2, two, two draws, seven KOs. Never heard of him. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I'm just me. I never heard of Saeed El Harak. I will look more into this gentleman, this, this guy, and as the fight approaches. But n never heard of this guy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, of course, the highlight of the undercards, you got Vasu Lomachenko versus uh, Galamilir Rodriguez, and um, that's you know it's going to be good to see uh, Vasu Lomachenko hop up in the ring again. But um, once again, not a, a matchup no one's talking about, no one can care really much about. Uh, then, of course, you got Jesse Hart. And Jesse Hart, at this present time, uh, his opponent hasn't been announced. It's an undisclosed opponent. So, But uh, either way, you know, uh, no, one was, <laughs> no one's clamoring for none of those fights. Of course, they're not looking to pay much for the undercards, I guess, uh, given that this money, so the, the, the main event is going to be paid so much money. Pacquiao and Mayweather is going to be paid so much money. I guess they're not trying to lose much on the undercard. But, God damn, what a piss-poor undercard, piss-poor build a, a promotion, you know, promotion tour. They're just banking on this fight, just selling itself. Uh, right, maybe rightfully so. I don't know, but it just seems to me a little bit of overconfidence here. I mean, especially the, you know they're ra they're rising the prices up on the pay per views with, from what I'm hearing, what eighty nine ninety nine for standard, ninety nine ninety nine for HD, and of course in America we all gotta have HD. So I mean. I just, you know, they're, they're really banking on people paying that amount of money with a piss-poor promotion and a piss-poor undercard. No one can really care about the undercard. We all want to see the main event. But that's what happened, I guess, when you got a fight that was five years in the making. You know what I mean? It's just you don't need much to do it. These two fighters are just squarely focusing on training and training only. Um, it seems, as you know, at least to the public or at least to what Floyd Mayweather is looking to put out there. It looks like he's on some power training type shit. You know, we know the the Ariza, the Heredia mix up. We know the, the now we see him chopping wood, going old school with it. You know, it looks like he's working on a lot of power. At least that's he wants to put that out there. Maybe he's not on the low. Who knows? You know how the games that Floyd Mayweather is, but um, I don't know, man. It just seems to me they're just a little overconfident with this fight. I'm uh, not excited about this Sunday card, man, at all, man. I was hoping for you know, give us somebody exciting on this card, man. We're paying a lot of money for this fight. Um, you know, throw us an Adrian Bronner on there, man. Just give us something, you know. Give us something something exciting, you know, other than the main event here, man. They should have made, you know, that's why I always say the U.K. boxing world shits as far as presentation. Shits on American boxing, man. Just square out shits on American boxing when it comes to presentation. Because, 
you know, they take their presentation extremely serious. And at one point in time, American boxers did too. You know, we would call them, Mayweather used to come out in gladiator outfits, sitting up on thrones and shit like that, you know. But now it's just simple, you know, razzle-dazzle thing. And, and you would think for this fight, man, the magnitude, the size, the scope of this fight, it was just been done. I just... I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. I'm, ha I'm happy to have the fight, but god damn, man. I wanted explosions, man. I wanted fireworks, man. Fuck that, man. I wanted an excited undercard. I wanted all of that because I waited five years for this fucking fight and for the buildup that's going on. I, as we're getting closer, we've seen a commercial come out what, this week. Uh, you know, it was all right, I guess. You know, it wasn't the greatest commercial, you know what I'm saying? And, um... We know that HBO and Showtime are both putting together little documentary style things for, for each fighter. But at this particular time, man, here we are on April 8th and uh, the fight is May 2nd. And just the build up has just been kind of crappy, man. If you're not really part of on the YouTube world or really follow the, sp follow the sport of boxing, follow a lot of blogs like this one and others, you won't really have the inside scoop or really know what the fuck is going on here. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just was hoping for more. You know what I mean? It's just like saying, yo, you're going to like a a Prince concert and he's just sitting on a stool playing a guitar. You you want more. This is fucking Prince. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about this fight. Like, this is supposed to be allegedly the biggest fight. When Ali and, and Foreman fought over there in Africa and in, in Zaire or whatever, you know, it was huge. And at the time, this was probably like the biggest fight ever at that time. And but they made it such. It was an event, man. Everything that they did was, it was noteworthy. You know, it was history making. We can even look back at that time now and see documentaries and see the buildup of that fight and all the things that those fighters were going through. At this, for this particular fight, we you know, we got some training videos out there. We got the press conference, sure. You know, a couple of interviews here and there, but nothing big man nothing big you know what i'm saying i want to be i want this to be big really big but right now it's kind of small i don't know i don't know maybe i'm over wishing maybe i'm just you know maybe i'm just asking for too much but god damn man yo american boxing presentation wise uk boxing is slapping us around man and that's just being real talk about it promotion the build up for this fight should be huge the undercard should be better you want a hundred dollars for pay-per-view give us our fucking money's worth i mean I don't know. Maybe the main event would be worth it. I don't know. But if we're worth your hundred dollars, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars. Maybe whether Pacquiao or not, I don't give a fuck. I want to see some more. I want to see a an a, 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 a event. I'm not there to see a bout. I want to see an event when I'm paying that much money. As much as you're charging to sit up in that damn MGM Grand. I mean, thousands of dollars just to sit in the nosebleed, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this particular time. So I mean, you. you they're really overhyping it. They're very overconfident that no matter what, that this fight is going to sell just on name, purpose alone. So I just find it very interesting, man. Very interesting. I don't know if they're overconfident. What do you guys think? Let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Put it in the comments section, and I'll greatly respond to that. But I just think they're a little too overconfident. Just got to watch out. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you have these fights and you think they're going to hit certain numbers, they don't. So I'm not saying that this one won't. I know this is going to be big. But the bar is set extremely high for this fight. We'll see how this goes. But put it in the comment section if you agree. Do you think the promoters are being a little too overconfident with this fight? Do you think they're handling building up this fight properly? Are you happy with the undercard? Let me know, man. But then again, it's to, to the next video. It's your main man, Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget I'm on Twitter at MateMan511. I will be back in the camera, in front of the camera very soon. Uh, I will be giving my Mayweather Pacquiao prediction video in front of the camera. And I cannot wait for that video. But until then, it's your main man, Made Man. And I'll see y'all then. Peace out.